Hello guys and welcome. So in this video, we're gonna go through step-by-step step exactly how you can use Manea to find yourself products to be testing on your dropshipping store right now in 2024. So through this video, I'm not gonna make it super basic. I wanna just delve right in and show you exactly what type of filters that I use in Manea to find products that have opportunity. And then after I found those products, how do I then validate it to know for certain that this is a product I should actually test and actually invest money into to run campaigns and to promote it. So we're going to go through everything in this video and without further ado, let's jump into the PC and let me share my screen and show you everything inside of Manea. Okay guys, so let's go through Manea step by step so you guys completely understand how this software completely works and how you're going to use it to find products. So when you've signed up to Manea using the link down in the description below, you'll come to this page here, which is basically the homepage, right? And before you click on anything up here, one thing I want to show you guys is the top 10 products of the day section. So Every single day when I come on Manea and I'm trying to look for products that have potential or products that, you know, are, is something that I want to test, I'll come down here and I'll go through the top 10 products for Facebook, Pinterest, and TikTok, right? So what this basically is, is showing you 10 products that today have been booming, have been getting a lot of attention, a lot of traction. You can see here, this one's got 17,000 likes, 4,700 comments, 1,800 uh, shares. So they're clearly getting engagement. So this is a good place to start just to see what kind of products are popping off now. And it doesn't necessarily mean you have to sell this exact product if that you see, but it might give you inspirational ideas to kind of find a product that has potential so you can go off and find something similar of similar nature to this one um, to meet the same sort of demand. So that's the first thing I like to do is I like to test them for all of these three, Pinterest, uh, TikTok, and Facebook. Now, the first place we're gonna head over to is ads. So this is where we're gonna do a very specific search through Facebook. So. You can choose here whether to search on Facebook, Pinterest, or TikTok. You have, obviously, you can search and, and spy on all those three platforms. But the way I like to do it is I like to start off by searching specifically on Facebook. So the first thing I do is I click on dates. I click on creation dates. And I'll do about three months or maybe four months. Let's just do the whole of 2024. So I basically am saying to Manea that I only want to see ads that have been created in 2024 in the past four months. Um, and the reason for that is because I don't want any ads that have popped up from 2016 that was kind of getting a lot of traction back then. Um, I want to see things that are getting engagement right now. So anything over the past four months, I want to make sure that the CTA, you could just click e-commerce CTA because that will select the buy now, shop now. That basically means that these are ads that have been ran that specifically say shop now, buy now um, as part of the call to action, which basically means that they're selling a product, right? In terms of e-commerce platform, I like to select Shopify. That's not really essential. You can actually leave this blank. Um, and the other thing is shares. I like to click on high engagement. And the final thing is countries. So you guys can play around with this. You don't have to do the exact same settings as me. But what I like to do is United Kingdom, United States, and Australia. But of course, you can add other countries in, maybe Canada, maybe New Zealand. These countries have really big markets, even Germany. Um, and you, you know, you might want to, instead of toggling with the shares, you can toggle with the likes that have high engagement of likes. Um, I like to just do shares cause it's worked for me in the past. So again, you don't have to use these exact metrics or exact filters, but these filters work very, very well for me. So it's just a suggestion for you guys to do it the same way I do. And then at this point, I'll just simply scroll, right? So anything that kind of captures my attention, anything that seems interesting to me, um, something like this, let's say I'd click on it and I'd click on the save button and then I'd save it to a new list. You can create a new list, um, but I'll save it to a list. And so by the end of this, after scrolling for about 30, 45 minutes, you'll have a list with loads and loads of different products, right? So that way we're focusing more on kind of finding things that are interesting. Then once we have a list, we're going to go through each one and delve into you know, whether it actually is a product that we want to test. I'm going to show you exactly how we do that. So for the time being, what I want you guys to do, if you're doing this with me, is just simply to scroll down and keep looking for products. So anything that captures your attention, anything that has good engagement. Um, so I like this. This looks like a custom product. And if you guys follow me on this channel, you'll know that I love custom products. So I'm going to add this to my list and keep scrolling Let's see what else we can find. Let's 
And here's another one that relieves neck pain. So I'm just gonna add this to the list and keep scrolling. We're gonna get up to about four or five products and then I'm gonna show you guys how to validate them and decide if these are products that you actually want to sell. Um, and I'm gonna give you a few pointers there. Right, so once we're done, we can just go ahead and click on my lists right there. And that's gonna take us to this page and then we can just click on dropshipping products, which is the one we just added some items to. Now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I validate this, right? Because it's easy to find a bunch of product ideas in Minea. Like you've seen, I've just found a, you know, a few in, in like five minutes. It didn't take me very long. But once you found them, how do you know which one to actually proceed with, right? This is the thing I see everybody struggling with. Nobody knows out of all these products you see, which one should you actually test? So I'm gonna show you a few pointers, right? So the first thing we want to do, let's say we want to check out this, right? So this is a, a neck pain reliever. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna go down and click on see more. That's gonna give us a bit more information. I'm gonna show you what we're going to analyze here. Now, Obviously, we already know at this point the amount of likes, the amount of comments, and the amount of shares, right? So this can give you an indication on how much traction this specific ad is getting. But we wanna see other ads from the same advertiser. And if we see that this advertiser is running loads and loads of ads of the same product, then it's a good sign. In this case, you can see they're only running two ads on Facebook. They're not running anything on TikTok. They're not running anything on Pinterest, which is not a great sign, right? So. We, want to, we can also go over to the ad post and read through the 30 comments that they received for this specific ad because that will give us an indication whether these comments are positive, whether they're negative, whether they're kind of fake um, because a lot of people now do fake comments. So let's just take a look. If we go on all comments, scroll down. It fits comfortably, easy to use, exceeded my expectations. Yeah, I mean, these look fairly positive which is a good sign. But again, the fact that they're not running a huge amount of ads for this product is kind of a red flag for me because if a product is working very well, they'll be running lots and lots of ads for this exact same product, just different style. Here's another tip, guys. So once you, you've seen the actual ad, just click on their actual page, go to the about section, go to page transparency, see all, and go to ads library. And this will kind of just validate whether it is actually two ads or Mine is only picking up a few. So here we can see one ad for this product, two ads for that product, three, four, five. So they are running a few here. The problem is we can't see how many likes and comments and shares they've gotten through the Facebook ads library, but we can see here the different ads that they're running for this product, which is good. This, these two are exactly the same. They probably just have it in a different ad set. This is the same as well. So these are all actually the same ads that they're running. So Mene has actually picked up on the ad that they keep running under different ad sets. So those are the two things we wanna check, right? So we wanna check um, all the ads that they've got in a Facebook ads library, all the other ads they've run here, all the comments they're getting under this specific ad that we've just found. And now we wanna head over to their website, right? And this is really important because if they're not getting traffic on their website, then it's a complete dead end. This isn't a product that is working very well for them, so it probably won't work well for us. So what I do is I use a tool called SimilarWeb. It's completely free. You don't have to pay for it. You can download it. And this will, be, this will give you a very accurate assessment on the amount of um, traffic they're getting. So in this case, it doesn't always pick up data, but usually when it shows this, it means that it's not getting enough traffic for it to matter. So what we'll do is we'll check the exact same thing for another product. So let's check this. Let's see if... This website is active, it is, it's in another language, but this is basically a telescope. So let's see if the ad is still active as well. Let's see more. Right, so we can see the ad here, it's got 7,100 comments, all very positive comments, which is really good. Over 2,800 shares, so it's very, very popular. The ad shows exactly what it does, so it's basically like a very small portable telescope. And if we go to their website and we take a look at the traffic, we can see that in January, they got 113,000 visitors. But then in February, it substantially dropped. I suppose that's probably down to them turning off a lot of campaigns. Um, but clearly, this is a product that is getting traction. And so we can also look at ads from the same advertiser and see if they're running multiple different ads. So we can see that this company is running several ads for loads of different products. They clearly you know, have a drop shipping store and they're testing all these different products at once. But we can see that this is the ad that we just found and they're not you know, specifically testing that more so than the others from what I can see. But 
clearly based on the fact that they're getting positive comments, they're getting a lot of traction on the ad. The ad is still running since December 2023 and the website is getting a lot of traffic and a lot of engagement and they've clearly spent some time on the product page adding a lot of images. It has definitely got some potential and this is a way for me to kind of validate it. The most important thing is that the website is getting a lot of a lot of traction. If it's not, it's already a red flag. But if the ad as well is getting a lot of traction and you can see that they're running other ads of you know the same product more and more, then it's a very, very uh, positive thing to see. But these are the kind of things I look for in terms of validating. So just to reiterate, guys, you want to make sure that the ad itself has got a lot of engagement, lots of likes, lots of comments, lots of shares. You want to make sure they're running the same ad of the product multiple times across Facebook, you know, different versions of, of an ad for that product. And you want to check the comments, make sure they're all positive here, and the website gets a lot of visitors using similar web. So those are the ways that I like to validate it. And this is a, a, a kind of a flawless way of doing this because you're checking so many angles that if you find one that ticks all of those boxes, that product has a huge amount of potential. So until you found one that has you know positive comments, lots of views on the website, they're running multiple ads for that same product, until you find that, you should keep looking through Manea to find the product that ticks all those boxes. Because once you find that, that product is popping off right now and has a huge amount of potential. So I hope that clears up for you guys exactly how I use Menea. It doesn't need to be overcomplicated. So many people are showing, you know, a ridiculous amount of filters on how to use it, all these different things you have to do. These are the, the ways I do it and it's worked very, very well for me. I found so many products that I've sold very well for myself using Menea, using this exact strategy. So if you want to sign up to Menea, you can click the link down below in the description. It will give you a discount. So definitely take advantage of that if you want to test this. And if you do sign up, be sure to watch this video back and follow it through so you make sure that you're doing things the right way and you don't waste time with some pointless filters when trying to find products.